Today I'll be talking about supervisor. It's a process control system which allows us to monitor and control number of processes on Unix like operating system. Yeah, uh, today I'll be installing this on uh, uh, the VM. I'll be using CentOS uh, 7 and then uh, we will install um, Apache MySQL and we'll write some custom Node.js app and we'll monitor that. So we can use to monitor service and process and also we can see the uptime of the process and we can start stop the process from the UI and also we can do that using CLI commands. I'll show that in this uh, uh, demonstration. Yeah.
So now I have um, added uh, three process. One is Apache, one is MySQL, and uh, another is an ODS app. We can add um, um, n number of services uh, which we can monitor using supervisor. The um, there is also a cool uh, CLI where we we can do the same. I'll show it in a while. The CLI command is a supervisor CTL, and uh, once you enter, it will show all the services which are currently configured HTTP, MySQL, and Node.js for us. If you type help, it will list all the commands which we can run. Stop, and if I give HTTPD, it will stop the HTTP service. And if we refresh in the UI, you see that it's stopped. And then I we can also do the same for all the services which we would like to stop. Uh, and uh, there's also a command called uh, start all which will basically uh, start all the services uh, in one one go you can see now all services have started uh, there's also a command called status which will show the status of all the services which we have configured in supervisor CTO Now what I'll do, I'll containerize the Node.js demo app. Uh, here you can see the Docker file. I'll copy the Node app um, to slash app, and then we'll set that work directory, and then I will run npm install, and then I will also add supervisor. Uh, I need a bash to run the bash scripts, uh, and then I'll set the work directory to config. I'll copy the blog dot which basically for the Node.js app. Then I'll copy the supervisor conf, and then I'll set the work directory to app. And then I will start start dot sh. The start dot sh is nothing but I'll start the supervisor d dot uh, uh, supervisor d in background. So here you can see for the blog dot conf consists of the uh, commands to start the uh, Node.js app of uh, and the supervisor d dot conf um, is the conf which I will be copying it uh, uh, to the etc supervisor d of the container and then the start.sh is inside the node.js app which basically sets the um, sorry basically starts the supervisor d for us uh, this is what i'm going to do here now i'm going to build the docker image docker build app and demo app colon the one and dot Now that our image is ready, let's uh, start the container. Um, yeah, I'll start it on, on port 3000 file. I'll bind it to uh, the internal port 3000, and then for the supervisor, I'll open the port 3000, sorry, 9005, and then I'll bind it to the 9001 on the Docker container. And we'll give a name called demo app and the name of our image demo app colon 01. This should uh, start up the container for us. I will stop the service on the container using supervisor D and you, you should see there's uh, a 3035 and you once we stop um, the service will be down and then we'll start the service again using supervisor D. You can see it's not uh, we are not able to browse the site. Now let me just start the service. 
uh, now the service is up yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching if you like the video please do subscribe my channel thank you